Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here in San Francisco at the Moscone Center for RSA 2014, booth 1801. If you're at the show, please go on by and see us. We have Bob Blair. He's a Senior Product Management Engineer with us. Thanks, Bob, for joining us. Nice to meet you. Meet me? I thought we've known each other for like a year. Yes, we have. <laughs> so one of the things we announced this week, I'm just joking with you, Bob, you know that, right? But it's all on camera. One of the things we announced this week is the high performance IPS. And so I thought I'd get Bob with us today to give us, first talk a little bit about the high performance IPS, what it provides organizations, and then get a little bit of a demo. Sure. Like we've been doing all week. We have a number of demos to show this week. So first, tell us a little bit about the High Performance IPS. The High Performance IPS is a scalable solution that allows us to scale the IPS sensors across multiple pool members. And LTM, Big IP LTM, is for, for years has done excellent with load balancing. Now we extend that further to allow us to load balance the IPS sensors. And these are the what we've always remembered IPS is about, the IDS, IPS, intrusion detection, correct. prevention systems or services. That's correct. And now we've taken it one step further where actually the IPS is signaled to the big IP in order to blacklist the source IP addresses that are uh, the offenders. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. Follow us this way. So we got our little uh, demo area set up. You can see you get high performance intrusion prevention on top. Of, so walk us through this, Bob. What's going on? What we're seeing, what we're seeing here is the uh, Source Fires Defense Center uh, dashboard, the Context uh, Explorer dashboard. Up top here, you can see the, the uh, activity over the last 30 days, uh, traffic by source, traffic by destination. If I scroll down a little bit, you can actually see that Source Fire is actually identifying the different application protocol information, reporting it. This is the information. These are the packets that we've been sending SourceFire from the big IP. Got it. And so I see things like uh, LDAP, DNS, HTTPS, SSL. Yeah, so that's the, the volume and the, and the type of traffic that's been going through the system under test. Got it. And if I scroll out a little bit further here, you can actually see uh, some charts and uh, geolocation information. Wow. So this is a great place to start for the Context Explorer. You're not, you want to know what kind of traffic is going through your system where it's coming from, what it's doing, this is where you go. And then when, when, when we talk about in what type of intrusions are we protecting against? There's over 5,000 signatures and rules implemented uh, on this system. And, we're, and SourceFire is watching for all those different, different uh, mitigation points. Got it. And, and when they hit them, they trigger the remediation API, which talks to Big IP, and Big IP then goes and uh, enforces, enforces that traffic and drops it. Cool. Now, if I, if I scroll over to my other tab here, I created this F5 dashboard. It's actually showing, we have two sensors under test here. Uh, it's showing the volume of traffic over time. This is the cumulative traffic connections across all sensors. You can scale these out as, for as many as you want. So if you have 10, 20, 30 sensors, you can scale it out. You can look at your total connections. It's also showing the events by sensor. Oh, yeah. So we're actually hit, hitting our local bad, um, my bad rule. We got about 6,000 events there. Uh, and then over here, you can see there's some web dev attacks and, and so forth. But moreover, down below, you can see these remediation and correlation events. It's hard to see, but we've had over 13,000 remediation events, uh, both for F5 and intrusion rules. And what this is, is I have a script running on my server, which is constantly exercising our virtual servers. Mm -hmm. And it's exercising them in a manner that's going to allow good traffic as well as bad traffic. When bad traffic is, uh, is noticed, the remediation API kicks in and signals to us, an I, an I rule picks that up, puts it into a table, and then it's protected for any new incoming traffic from and, that source IP. And then this would tick up appropriate. That would tick up appropriate. There's an appropriate timeout period that's, that's enforced. After that timeout period, the, uh, the source, that source is allowed to come back in, and if they violate again, they get ticked back out. Now that was one of the things we were talking about earlier was the granularity in yeah. this, where it's not just, we were talking that, you know, a lot of people think security is about keeping the bad guys out. And by all means, it certainly is. But really security is letting the, the appropriate person into the right information at the right time at a very granular level based on context. And it sounds like that's what's going on here. And this is based on per virtual server. So you can apply these contexts based on your application. So keeping, you know, you're, you're a little bit suspicious, almost like our, um, our denial of service to some extent, our brute force protection to some extent, where you're, you're misbehaving, we're gonna keep an eye on you. If you, if you get better, then you can go, you but can if go. you keep it up, you're, you're out. out. Of there. You're out of there, yeah, that's right. 
And then if I tab over to here, it, you can see these are all the different rules and signatures that are being applied. Um, these are already baked into SourceFire. Yep. Cisco SourceFire. And then I noticed we also had a topology earlier. Yeah, let me show you the topology. What we're showing on this topology, simple topology map, you have the outside network. This is where the, the web-facing clients are coming in. You can see some, some green blobs and some red blobs coming in. These applications come in, normally load balance to the application servers. But you'll also notice we're sending copies over to the SourceFire IDSs. Yep. Um, the, in turn, they detect that a bad, a bad guy comes in. They signal through our control of, of virtual server to add that bad IP onto the uh, big IP to be enforced. So we're pre-dropping that traffic. And by pre-dropping it, the source fires actually have more bandwidth available to, to keep watching for other, other violators. Now, wait a minute. In a typical um, deployment of this, wouldn't these guys be over here, though, yeah. like in between the inside and outside? You're very right. You're very correct. And, and they would be bound per server. Yeah. And they don't really scale very well. You can't, on a per-purpose per basis, go and decide who's going to be IPSed and who's not. And so then in this design, the big IPs kind of sit in that, that spot between the traffic inside and out and then create a pool of these, is that right? Yeah, so we're actually using our, our normal LTM pools and we bind, uh, we utilize a feature on the virtual server called the clone pool. So I'm actually capable of cloning the client facing traffic as well as the, the server facing traffic. In this demo, they're receiving both streams of traffic. Right. And then, you know, one of the things we've been talking about, particularly with our, our synthesis, yeah. is the, the fact that you're, you're able to apply services, such as security, to your applications anywhere they reside. Now, what happens, so we have, we have this intelligence built in, and these guys are good and bad. Now, we want to add another application right here. Sure. Just, is it seamless? This goes right in? Seamless. You can add the application where it needs to be placed. Uh, with the bandwidth appropriate, and then you can decide on that virtual server to, set, to clone it off to a pool. And, and you can have multiple of these pools. These pools can be different sizes and weights. And, and we have over 19, we have 19 or so different load balancing algorithms that you can apply so that the appropriate sensor uh, on a concurrent basis or a, a weight or, a, or, or the loading, yep. the appropriate one that is available, has the most available bandwidth, gets the, the next stream. It really boosts the performance of those boxes, doesn't it? Very well, yeah. And if you have to do service, you need to pull a box out for service. Ah. It doesn't take your, it doesn't take your applications down. If you were to pull a box that was in line to that application server out of service, that application server is going down. That's a problem. That's yeah. a problem. I really appreciate your time, Bob. You're very welcome. This is cool stuff. We got protection going on all over this booth at RSA, don't we? Yes, we do. There you have it. A little bit more about our high performance IPS we announced this week here at right. We announced it, didn't we? we? Will. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. This week at RSA. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bob. You're welcome. So for Bob, and I got Jay behind the lens. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. I'm Peter, and uh, we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.